Hello Libra gang. Welcome to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. Yeah, I could tell um <laughs> Mercury uh will soon be um, hitting a retrograde point. Not to mention these uh eclipses that are happening are quite intense. Um, anything you need to know about me will be down in the description box. If you'd like to know about private readings, everything will be down there. I prefer you email me first. Um, so, I will ask you to email me first so we can set it up. That's how we do it. Don't trust scammers. They're all over out here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Alright, when I was flipping through here, this is how I knew how to... Do your reading, Libra. Sun, moon, and rising. <laughs> um, when I split the deck, when I was shuffling and zoning in, I split the deck and it was the, um, the Page of Swords. And it was along with the Ace of Swords. So there's some truth that you're looking at or you're heavily contemplating. This goes to show contemplation as well. This very well could be um, cutting out things. You've been looking at cutting out for a long time. I feel real um, tidying up, going through your wardrobe, getting rid of stuff. Big time. I mean, like, all this shit's nothing but a burden. Wheel of Fortune. There's seven stones here for Libra. Nine of stones. Boy, you guys are all about that money and that pentacles right now. Oh, yeah, I see. Your finances took a hit here. Some Somebody was looking at some financial statements, possibly. It's funny how interesting I say about scammers. Wounded warrior. Nine of wands. Some of you guys are noticing this. Check your bank statements, Libra. Lines are coming out like a sucker. Ace of Cups. That also flipped out for the Nine of Stones. Nine of Cups. Something about um, a wish fulfillment that has to do with your finances. This very well could be good or bad. I don't know. Just check your bank statements. You might be getting something back. Ace of Cups. Or you're thinking about starting a brand new income stream as well. Very well could be. So we're going to be talking about business, huh, Libra? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Apparently, <laughs> Jupiter. Um, there you are, Queen of Swords. <laughs> Working away. Taking care of business. Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Something big's about to happen for you in the financial department. Man, I was kind of hoping we were going to get some love readings. Apparently, that's not where go we're going with this one. Like I said, some of you are cutting out stuff that you don't need anymore. Yeah. Ten of Wands. It's too heavy to carry all this stuff. There's the fool. Yeah, you want, some of you are moving, some of you want to start completely brand new, start over somewhere else. Or you're feeling this urge. I think it's a go. I mean, take it up with your intuition. <laughs> but it looks like all systems go if you want this. Whether it's a business, what. Things are transpiring that you've been heavily contemplating. 
You've been single. You've been stable. You've been doing your work. Hard at work. All that you've been carrying around by yourself. Something new's got about to shift for you, Libra. Victory. Six of spirals, wands, and strength. There's a lot of wands cards. By Leo season, something's going to take a dramatic turn. Something you are um, planting seeds now. A lot of times, uh, the Seven of Pentacles is, you know, checking on your fruit on the tree to see if it was ripe enough to harvest. We're coming into that harvest. The wheel is turning in your favor. Some of you are like, be careful. Um, seven of um, swords is lingering around here. You might have a hater somewhere, just so you're aware. And this is in you right now. You guys are working hard at something. Strength came out again. Yeah, there's some there's definitely something that you're working on that's gonna come into fruition. If you're putting your plans in motion now, you're gonna start seeing a harvest by Leo season. Four of Cups and the lovers. There might be a, a return. You very well could be meeting somebody, a possible Leo, Libra, and or another fellow air sign. You're looking good. And you look focused. I think this is going to come in, possibly, maybe confuse you a little bit. I don't know. Gemini in the house here, too. All right. Tell me what I need to see for Libra's future energy. Where we want to go here. This is all just confirmation. What's Libra's future energy? Thank you. You're going to talk to me. You guys are moving in silence. Don't be sneaky. There's three of swords. Mm. Some of you might be getting out of a situation. Some of you are leaving an old situation and or you very well could be um, transitioning into something new around the lunar eclipse. Could be finding out something. Good or bad, however, like Three of Swords is here. Um, Something could come in and try and distract you. Your thought processes get you off track to what your focus is. Um, it might come in as a surprise or a shock. Let's put it that way. All right, more future energies. For Libra, please. Why is the moon here? I mean, what I need to see about the moon being here. More, more Leo energy. The companion, king of uh, wands. Yeah, Leo season. Someone you could be dealing with might have a Leo moon as well. But they really act like a Leo. They have a lot of placements in Leo. 
This very well could be Leo season as well. This is supposed to be a secret, I think. Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of you aren't telling anybody what your future plans are. Look at that. The treasure chest. Mm -hmm. Some of you are storing up your... Um... Ooh. Oh, there's... Okay. Also, you guys are um, having any kind of blockage, which it doesn't look like, but... Um... With the Seven of Pentacles here, that's a lot of times sometimes stuck energy of not knowing which way to go and what to choose and making sure that you're choosing the right thing. You've been manifesting a lot. Um, it just uh, it will be coming in around this time of Leo season. You started in April. That's four. April is a four month. Yeah, this is stuff you don't see yet. It's been, um, someone very, uh, Leo very well could be holding back from you too, if you want to put it that way. Um, or they have a Leo moon. This also very well could be coming in for you because it is future energy after this, um, uh, passage from the moon, the eclipse. It's like two weeks from now. Could be getting um very unsuspecting. <laughs> the poet King of Swords. Five of Cups. Ten of Cups. And a chariot. Time frame. Yeah, you're going to be heavily focused by cancer season. Um, whatever you, just, you or somebody else is working hard on, uh, very well could be a lot of knowledge. You have two kings here. Aquarius just showed up. You had the five of cups and then the ten of cups. Yes, yeah, somebody very well might come to you, Libra, and express a really um, sad truth. And you might be able to make them feel better. Um, give them intuitive, you know, messages that very well could be healing for someone. Um, there very well could be closure as well. Um, five of Cups, with something that was sorrowful. Somebody was holding this information back from you. Um... You might have intuitively knew it with the chariot card here, repping cancer. Someone was a very smooth talker, or somebody's coming in that has a lot of um, swagger. Um, that's extremely smart and intelligent. Heavy Leo and Aquarius here. The moon and then the chariot here. <laughs> Yeah, you, this is going to come in quick and very unsuspecting, Libra. Very unsuspecting. Okay, which ones do I want? This one? Alright, we're going to go with the regular rider, I guess. Okay. Whoever this person is, um, check their energy, obviously. Oh, yeah. I think High Priestess. <laughs> so I have, I have a real interesting, like, some kind of news is coming in to you. Or coming in for you. Something that's been held back. Um, like I said, it, it very well could be by um, an authority figure as well. Because there is two kings here. 
very well could be getting an apology from somebody. You don't see it coming. Might have yeah, something to do with job. Queen of Pentacles is it. What is this in the past for Libra? What were they kind of stuck looking at? They're oh dear. Tower and death in reverse. Two Scorpio cards. Go figure. Yeah, this is definitely something that has to do with them. A dream. Uh, it's either becoming a reality quickly or something that you lost or somebody else did. Transformative energy is here. Um, could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with an Aries for the tower. That's Mars, um, Mars energy. If there could have been, a, there very well could be a, um, a shift or something um, in the 3D. The bank account as well. It very well could be up and moving quickly too. Wouldn't surprise me. Tower with all this. Yeah, there's the Seven of Pentacles. They're having repeating cards here. Um, <laughs> Libra. Looks like whatever this tower is, you're just going to be like, yep, I figured that was going to happen. Mm hmm. Shocker. You're not surprised at all, nor are you, um, whatever this was. It's like you knew something, you knew intuitively something was going to blow the fuck up. <laughs> You might have been in the middle of something, like a, just saying, you might be looking in the middle of something, legal-wise. And that money has been held back that you should have had. Like I said, there very well could have been a, like, <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I walked away from that alive. <laughs> type of thing. You might be taking inventory on just how much God um, protected you. And you very well could be getting a settlement from whatever that was. Just so you're aware. And you very well could be looking, if this is a person, could be looking at that. Came out in reverse. What the fuck did I ever see in them? <laughs> they gotta be kidding after, um, they threw me out the window. Hung me out to dry. Okay, Libra, tell me how you really see them. Oh. <sighs> Why is the Seven of Pentacles here with the Tower for Libra? Something that used to worry you that is not worrying you anymore. You're like, fuck that, I'm going to be happy regardless. Whatever this was, you are not worried about it anymore. I think, you're like, I'm just going to continue working. I don't care how burdensome it is. A Libra's got to do what a Libra's got to do. We're going to have victory. That's how we roll around this bitch. And I don't think you're really taking very much emotional offers at this time. Four of Pentacles again. Four and four. Yeah. You're like, if it's not stable, I can see right through you. Hmm. Queen of Swords. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm looking at. I know what I'm looking for. Ain't nobody going to be putting their extra burdens. I got enough of my own. All right. Why is the Queen of Swords here? What are you cutting out, Libra? Anything that's not victorious? Are you celibate? The buck stops here. Libra, are you celibate? 
looks to me like somebody's going to be coming in and offering you something passionate. Leo's here all over the place. What does this Ace of Wands for the right now? You're going to be getting a new jolt of energy. Oh, shit. Ten of Wands again. With the Ten of Wands? Yeah, that... Nine of Wands with the Ace of Wands is Ten of Wands again. Like the buck stops here. And it's clarifying this Ten of Wands. Because you have your guard up very, very high. I have a feeling it's going to take a special person. <laughs> to come and get me off my throne. That I'll actually bend to, I'm hearing. Even bend. Oh, Libra. What is going on? The tired of confusion. People lie on you that aren't stable. I hear you. It's like the creeps are coming out of the woodwork. Why is the king of wands here? Chariot. Okay. Is it especially... Um, whatever you're working on is going to come into fruition in between now. Um, it's really going to start picking up in Cancer season into Leo season. You very well could be having um, a Leo come in. Uh, that has heavy water in their chart. Cancer is here twice. Can be a Cancer with Leo in their chart. Very well could have a Leo moon. Cancer with Leo moon. Oh my. What would that be like, Leo? Or, yeah, there's Leo here, too. Libra. Some of you are also um, gathering your strength. Possibly to move. Um, using your intuition more. Um, trusting yourself. And not taking offers that don't serve your higher good you guys are moving away from certain things it's all confusion like you're done with it good for you very good Libra alright what's this future energy why is the moon here show me what I need to see with the moon for the future energy what is this mystery <laughs> what is the illusion What's the illusion? Libra. Look. This is fullness of time. And it has to do with karma and stuff. This is stuff actually weighed up this is the judgment coming down on top of all the things that you've done for good or bad um this is also stands for reconciliation um but it's not rec it can be reconciliation with the person absolutely but reconciliation to who you truly are and what you truly deserve for good or bad um some people don't see this coming There's a Leo here, too. I don't know why the Leo is here, but there's a Leo here that might have done some um, cheating and done some bad things. Either this person has a Leo moon. Or your person is a Leo and they're coming back. Okay, we can put it that way, too. Have possible Aquarius is here. Um, whoever this person is is extremely smart, intelligent, um, mature, um... But they haven't told you anything that you need to know. Eight of Wands. Communication. Somebody's going to be bringing in communication to you guys. 
Um, also, you very well could be having supernatural occurrences um, when this person shows up. And or you could be getting um, an apology if something happened at a workplace situation or a settlement. Whatever this is that you got slighted in a past Libra, it's coming back in. Um, whatever's going to be made fair and just, you're going to find out. You don't see it coming. This is waiting for your ships to come in. You have no clue this is about to happen. All right. Why is this four of um, pentacles here? Four stones. Why is that here? What is this treasure chest? I really feel like there's a level up in your finances. King of Wands is in reverse. It came out. Ten of pentacles in reverse. Something wasn't fair. Something was definitely being held back by you. Or from you. By a possible fire sign. And whatever happened there is going to be reconciled. Back to you. Someone stole something from you, Libra. Yes, they did. And it wasn't fair or just. I thought they were going to get away with it. Someone was sneaky about it. Completely sneaky about it. Right. Why is this King of Swords here? Yeah, the fair king is here. This very well could have to something, like I said, definitely with the settlement and or something that has to do with, I don't see a whole lot of, um, someone's going to make your uh, self become completely emotionally stable. Hmm. Yeah, some some of you are definitely entangled or was entangled with somebody with Leo. Someone tried to put some confusing shit and gaslight, I really feel. Or be careful of this. Uh, make sure that you're getting what you're owed. Um, someone might be coming to try and sneaky sneak, pull a sneak, you know, when it comes to your finances. Um, I think you could feel swords. Oh, yeah. There's a four of cups in reverse. All these are swords. These are all thoughts. Okay. Someone's going to be pissed off to watch you get blessed. Someone, I really feel like somebody did some um, awful karmic stuff to you in the past, Libra. And they haven't been paid back by... Um, <laughs> The creator for that, for that slight that they did. <laughs> well, looks to me like they don't see it coming. And when it hits them like a ton of bricks, someone's not going to be too happy about that. The five of cups here. <laughs> and or somebody's um, highly considering letting go of a slight against you. There is communication coming in, in the future. And you might be, where is this coming from? Yeah, be careful of um, hackers too. Like I said, just be careful of that. Okay, I'm gonna see about love. What do you wanna know about love? And you're like, let's not talk about love. Is that how you feel, Libra? Well, your video is 30, 30 minutes almost. All right. I guess that's where you're at. It's financial. And yeah, just be careful of um, whoever this Leo Cancer possible Scorpio Aquarius person is. 
Okay. Yeah. Fire sign. Especially Leo. Someone lost all passion for something. All right. Let me know what this communication is. Whether it's a person or whether or not um has to do with your finances. I love you guys. Y'all take care and you know, this is a general reading, so I'm gonna come on and do love readings and um different path readings. Either way, I love you. Mwah. Bye Libra.